Hey guys, welcome to Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. It is Wednesday here, uh, May 22nd, I think, and super excited uh, about all the things I have to show you. Um, lots of exciting stuff on the horizon. Um, hoping you guys are having a great week. Um, so let's start with um, kind of new stuff. The first thing is we just announced this new So She Did pattern last night. This is by Lori Holt and it is a full color pattern and we're going to show you lots of options with it. So this one was stitched on 14 count Wichel white and um, I'm going to show that to you in a second and I stitched this sample and I used DMC and I have glass on it. So this is the first one. And um, for all of you that want to know, um, this one, I just got it custom framed. It doesn't fit like a standard frame. So this is how 14 count looks. And um, it's got buttons. So super cute. And then if you want to make it bigger, you can make it here. And we have a frame that we can link to below. And this is on 10 count Daisy, which is Lori Holt's. Um, Zweigart thread fabric and that will be back in stock in June or July and this one was stitched by Denise with Aura Floss and it also has buttons and she just she didn't do um, glass so you can like touch it um, so this is like the difference and so we really wanted to show you um, how it would look and give you lots of options. And then our third option is Lori has stitched it on 25 count Lugana and she's mailing that to me. So next Wednesday, we're going to show you how it looks on brown. And it's slightly different size than this one. Um, so let me show you all the things that go with it. And of course, this is by Lori Holt. Be in my bonnet. Um, she has a new bag. It's called Fit to Stitch Zipper Pouch. This is the front and the back. This will be in stock later today. If it's not online later today, it'll be tomorrow morning. We're picking them up today. So it's super cute. And the reason that we like it is it fits everything, your pattern and everything. So this is the pattern. You could even get two projects in it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag to show you. So this is the front. And the back and I'm just gonna flash it real quick but it's all in color so that is a bonus much easier to stitch on color so I stitched mine on white which L which we sell and okay so if you have been buying her aura floss you can just keep this you don't have to buy any more floss except you would need two more spools of 5006 and three more spools of 1148. So, um, you know, if you've already bought this, you don't have to invest a lot of money because you might already have fabric at home. You just need the pattern. And, you know, as you run out of thread, you can just add to your box. And this box has all her lovely colors. And so that's what Denise did. Denise just, like, used her, um, her thing. If you like DMC, you can get a DMC pack. Super cute. And if you do, if you don't already have the B Basics box and you want exactly what you need to make this, we have an R Floss thread pack. And the little buttons that you need for the top of the sewing machine right here are here. And then these are just larger buttons that you can get from her button jars. and um, Or you could just get them from your stash. Like I would hate for you to buy just a button jar just for two buttons. So, you know, that could be something you could just already have or maybe you already have her buttons. So super excited. We made it so that you could like pick your own kit kind of thing. Like you can get the pattern. You can buy the whatever fabric you want. You can buy whatever floss you want. You can do whatever buttons you want. So we're just making it so that it's super... Um, I guess user-friendly in a way that would make it where you can make it your own. You don't have to buy it 
exactly like it comes. And so as you can see, I'm throwing all of this in here and it all fits. And so now you can have one of these for every project. Um, so cute. I had the first one. I'm so excited. So um, this is Lori's again. So this is all Lori's. We're super excited to partner with her and it kind of matches like kind of matches. So, so excited. And then also we borrowed Priscilla. She has her new Chalk Full program. It's a club that starts in June and there's gonna be seven total projects every other month. And we're gonna be using the called for colors. This one uses classic color works and gentle arts chalk. And I wanna get really up close. So if you look, at the aqua in the jar, it is a cross stitch, but it uses one strand of floss. And this is how Priscilla finished hers. And if you want uh, the finishing items, like the little white thing, those are all at Hobby Lobby. And so we're gonna get this um, like this, we're gonna be using Chalkboard Black Ada. And she stitched hers on black Monaco linen. So that would be the difference is the cloth. So pretty. And so this is the first one, and then this is the sign that goes on top. And this is also from Hobby Lobby. And like when you buy it, it's like a little, it's a little, I don't know. Organizer? Yeah, organizer, and then it's got a magnet so that it sits on there. And so um, we're super excited about that club. So here's kind of how the pattern cover looks. And the first month is Harvest. And we're, we're kidding it with Black Ada, Chalkboard Black, which I'll Classic Color Works, and then Gentle Arts Chalk. And so we're, you're gonna get exactly this. The only difference is the fabric. Let's see what else we have. Um, Quaker Flag. So Quaker Flag sold out sooner than I expected. So sorry about that, guys. Um, sometimes that happens and I don't predict it and it's hard to predict. So thank you for all your support. Um, this is where we were at yesterday, last week. The top of the flag. Here's the pattern my little bags and the colors that I'm using are toasted marshmallow wavy navy and ribbon red and we will have more kits by tomorrow so I decided to not stitch on this today because I don't want everybody I don't want to be ahead of everybody so we'll continue stitching next week and then also um, we are going to be having a sew along with the so she did starting oops June 12th. So if you want to do that sew along, I'm giving you plenty of time to get your supplies and we will list out exactly on the blog soon or somewhere exactly how we're going to divide it up, which week, etc. And then I'm going to give tips on how, because I did make the sample on different ways to save time when you're filling in the sewing machine. Um, so there's that. So I just want to apologize on the Quaker flag. There's going to be more in stock and I'm going to, um, start again next week when we have more so it's fair to everybody and i have a mania update fqs stitch mania super excited so here's my new bag um i made it on monday and i made it because i have all these bags everywhere like i just have bags everywhere and i'm like i need a bag that can fit all my bags so because i'm like the bag lady so um i'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys and we'll have this online in about two weeks. But without further ado, I'm going to show you all my mania stuff. Well, first I have a finish. So this was the pattern Heart and Home by Needle Bling. And you noticed it had home and then a heart and then all these other words. And I was stitching it in the airport and thought it would look pretty with just home. So um, I took all this off. I, I saved the rest of the fabric that was on this side and I'm going to use it for this weekend's mania. But I thought this would just look really nice. 
and um, this is whitewashed Ada, and it's really, I like the quality of it, um, easy to stitch, and I just used hickory sticks, and then I just kind of put the E, I did change the E a little bit, I made the E one row wider, and then I made this a little bit wider, so I did change the E, and I changed the pattern, but I thought this would fit really nice in my home, and so I'm going to be sending this to Priscilla today, she doesn't know, she's just going to get a package, <laughs> she's just going to like hook me up. Maybe. So if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. So for some, uh, just pretend you don't know when it shows up. But yeah, I'm super excited. So I have one mania finished. So super excited. And that only took me, um, let me see how long that project took me. Because I do like to know how long things take. So let's see. This one took me seven and a half hours. So that's really not bad. Um, seven and a half hours for one little project is pretty good. So there's that. And then we're going to go through last week's mania. If you want to see my first week of mania, you can go and um, watch last week's live stream. So the first one is Summer Season Sampler. So um, that's, I got the house done. And I'm really happy with the color choices here. And I think it's going to be really pretty once I add the lavender. Um, these are probably my least favorite from the Mania. I still really like them, but out of everything, kind of because I, I had to think a little bit. And I don't want to have to think when I just kit a project. My second one was Autumn. And this one, I changed the colors. I still am not 100% sure if I like my colors that I chose. I redid the, I don't even know which way is up, to be honest. Um, can you see? So um, I changed the colors because they didn't really match the colors that were on the cover. So I tried to match them. I still am not sure. So my plan for this is I'm going to just go ahead and do all of this the green. I'm going to do the green and then I'm going to start the orange flowers and do the second flower and if I like it I'll keep going. If not I will start uh, pull it all out and start a new color. And I think that kind of with this one the deal is it's gray and orange and so gray and orange aren't always complementary colors and so um, it's kind of tricky since I changed the fabric base of course it's going to change your colors that's just kind of the way it is. And then this one is winter. See, I have lots of eggs. Kevin thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I am. This one is my second favorite. Um, and I think this one's going to go really fast. Um, the white and the blue look really nice on this one. And you can see also, like, some of these have Q-snaps, some of them don't. I'm kind of just doing whatever because I ran out of Q-snaps and I don't want to buy more and I don't want to have to, like, switch on and off. So I'm kind of like, whatever. Whatever I have in the bag is what I do. And then this one's really fun. This is perforated paper. Alphabet en blanc by Sue Hillis Designs. And I got the V done. And I really like this one. Um... I ended up using two strands instead of three. I did try three just to see how it looked. And um, I think it's going to be really nice. Um, and when you're perforated paper, I didn't know it comes with two. So I've got an extra one. And I'm using RF Floss. Um, yeah. So that one, this one's going to take a little bit of time. Um, because it's a lot of starting and stopping and moving and that kind of thing. It's not a um, continuous design. And then, of course, I love this one because it's Country Cottage Needlework. I'm going to put this on the floor. Um, Country Cottage Needlework Santa Sampler. And on this one, she called for 16 count Ada, but I just cannot bring myself to do that. So, of course, I did 14 count lamb's wool. So, it's going to be a little bit bigger than hers, but I really like it. It's very similar to land that I love in the fact that it has all these rectangles that you fill in. And so, it looks like I didn't do very much, but I did. Once I get that Santa in there, I'm going to be ready to go. 
Um, and so this one I'm definitely going to have done for Christmas. Um, and then these are awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how awesome they are. My pattern is over here though. Hold on. See, I have a bag over here. Like bags everywhere. Should be the bag. So this is uh, Tiny Modernist Christmas Signs. And I'm doing all four. So I'm starting the Santa today. But the last three days I did these. So I'm, I'm going to just show you. This one is I'll Be Home for Christmas. And I really have a lot done. Um, that truck was pretty intense. There's three reds. It's all DMC. And all I have left is the truck and then the little border. So, um, and I think I've had some people ask. I think what I'm going to do is do white, very simple white frames and frame all of them exactly the same size and then somehow put them on the wall. I don't know. Put them somewhere where they're all together. The next one is Tis the Season to be Jolly. And I love the comment that said I should put the A there because my name is Jolly. Tis the Season to be A Jolly. Um, and this is an ornament that I kind of started. So I'm making a lot of progress on these. These are really simple. Um, I, they're a lot easier to, to make. I'm using the Venetian stone witch hell, but, but they're small, so you can um, kind of roll them up. Like if you were stitching over here, you could just roll it up like that and just hold it in your hand. So um, I found that that, because I don't have any more Q-snaps, um, really easy, uh, kind of on the go project. And then, I did this one yesterday, and uh, may your days be merry and bright. And yesterday when I finished, I didn't have the B and the R done. And I couldn't stand it, so last night I got the B and the R done. And I am traveling with the white on the back. I'm traveling, but you cannot see it on the front. So these are really awesome, um, really cute, really different. Um, I like that so far my variety has been different. So it's kind of fun. Each day I have like a new surprise to look at. Um, and I'm glad that I have one out of the 31 done. I have a second, second one almost done, so I'm hoping by next week I have another finish. So I'm gonna put all these back so you can see how easy. So this is like perfect travel bag. It took me three hours to make, and the only reason it took me that long was because I was coming up. I basically made it up as I went. It comes out to about 16 by 18, something like that. Um, and I used the Buy Annie vinyl. Um, which is really nice and thick but not too like some vinyl can get sticky it's not sticky um so like when i stick this stuff in here the plastic doesn't stick because sometimes if you get the cheap vinyl your plastic and your vinyl would like mm -mm, it would look ugly <laughs> and so um really nice and then of course i used a buy any zipper i used lori holt's farm girl vintage fabric for the front and the inside and i used my sashiko machine Anyway, it's going to be a cool video. Um, so that's my mania update. And I've got a couple other things. That's impressive how much that bag holds. I, oh, like Mary Poppins. yeah. <laughs> you know? It's huge, yeah. yeah. And it's like, I mean, it's perfect because a lot of times, like, y'all know my kids have to do, like, a lot of chores. So one of the things is when I get home, like, I always take a ton of stuff home and a ton of stuff back. And they pack my, they pack my car, they unpack my car. And so now I'm like... Just get the bag. You don't have to like grab 10 things. So it's going to help my kids out too. Yes. Which that's not why I made it though. Um, so, you know, we have this new bag coming today. Stitching is my cardio. Fit to be. Fit to stitch. Fit to stitch. Sorry. Be online today by Lori Holt. We also have another bag coming for Priscilla and Chelsea Ooh. called Stitching with the Housewives Bag. And it has a zipper. And, yep, it's a little tote bag. It's called Stitch. If you want to search for it, it's Stitching with the Housewives tote bag. And it has a zipper. Oh. Yep. And um, that's how it looks. It's got a little bottom. Super awesome. It uh, matches their shirt. So it's printed on both sides. Let's see. And so we're going to pick these up today also, and these will be online today or tomorrow. And obviously we have their shirts too. This is the Lori Holt shirt, um, but they have a shirt too. And then when we were at Mark, uh, New, 
needlework market I love aqua you guys know I love aqua we found a really good aqua and we ordered it in March and it just came in so we now have aqua Ada I'm super excited that I'm gonna come up with something super cute for this this would have been really cute on the alphabet and Blanc that I'm doing um, on that navy it'll obviously show it better on the navy but this is really cute so I'm gonna plan something with this because I always plan stuff with stuff I like so um, that's something cute and then I just have stuff everywhere guys we also have sorry I have stuff everywhere uh, yes last Saturday I think last week sometime Kathy Haberman of hands on design came out with this with Priscilla Blaine it is called Star Spangled Swine Farm it is going you're gonna have we're gonna have it just as a pattern and we're also gonna have it as a kit and the kit would have the chart chalkboard black Ada and the floss and so I went ahead and grabbed all the floss so you could see the colors here's the cloth and then I'm gonna just kind of pick up some of the colors so it's a mix between DMC classic color works and gentle arts and when you buy um, your hand dyed floss from us they come in these little plastic bags so and um, this one's gonna also be popular this is not part of her club though this is totally separate and um, we style works also so a combination of all kinds of threads here um, but I just wanted to pull it to show you and there's also like a little sign but oh my gosh there's little piggies like piggy one day Priscilla's gonna do the real piggy though not a pig pig but like my dog pig piggy <laughs> is gonna be on a cross stitch pattern eventually because I need a piggy so there's that um, I'm making a mess I'm so sorry and then I am going to be hosting or a Jolly July with Priscilla and Chelsea and it's gonna be like an ornament extravaganza and um, more details will be posted soon um, but basically I'm picking some of my favorite ornaments and I'm gonna be putting them on graceful gray with Chell and I have picked some fancy floss that I like I've got it all mixed up over here but I am doing some really pretty I'll have to like this is a hot mess so I'll have to take these out of the bag and show you all another week but we um these are not like final final so I don't want to tell you the names because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite one and I'm gonna stitch it up right when mania is done and um, each week um, Priscilla and Chelsea are gonna be doing something fun with ornaments and then each week I'm gonna be doing something fun I'm gonna give you a minimum of four different finishings for ornaments and I've always wanted an aqua pink um, tree just like this and a couple years ago hopefully Kevin's not watching I went to Target and I bought these really inexpensive like five dollar ornaments and I loved them and he was like this is not Christmas Kevin has a thing about Christmas Christmas in our house has to be a certain way he is very serious about Christmas when I say serious I mean don't mess with him like you got to pick your battles in a marriage and I just gave up on Christmas like seven years ago um, Christmas has got to be the way Kevin wants it there can be no change to Christmas it cannot be anything else it is the way he wants it so I've decided that he can have his tree with his red and green great I'm gonna do a tree in my bedroom and me and Priscilla are gonna decorate it and um, they're gonna be the ornaments obviously the center of it's gonna be like the 25 ornaments um, but I will give you more details I don't want to give you the colors or exactly what I pick because I haven't really picked it we kind of we came up with it about um, well, I don't know when they were here we came up with it but it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be original and I'm gonna have lots of teaching opportunities to show you how you actually finish an ornament and I obviously don't even know how to finish an ornament so I'm gonna be learning myself I'm a beginner at finishing no experience so it's gonna be great because you can learn from me and I will show you um, different ideas I've already got some ideas Denise has some ideas it might have rickrack it might have pom-pom it might have fabric it might have whatever um, 
So that's going to be kind of what I'm going to be starting after Mania ends. But I still, guys, I have got like 10 or 11 or 9 more videos to film. I mean, I don't even know. Like, this is like on and on and on and on. Nine and three quarters. Yeah, and like, I know some of you guys are like, somebody put on my channel. I can't watch all these videos. Too many videos a week. Okay, great. You don't have to. Just don't watch. It's fine. You don't have to watch me. Like, anyway, so that's what I have, guys. Like, I have a ton of stuff. I worked on a ton of stuff. I'm so excited to have one finish. Um, I'm hoping to have one more finish next week or maybe two. Um, this weekend I'm going to be quilting. I have this really cool, um, Monday I made the bag and on Saturday I have this really cool idea that I am going to have for a video. So I'm not going to be doing cross stitch too much this morning, but that's a whole nother video that I have planned for our um, quilting channel. and. Um, I hope I've inspired you in some way, um, showing you lots, I'm trying to show you lots of different ways cloth looks, um, using all different kinds of uh, fabrics, um, still sticking, I would say I'm still sticking to like the Kimberly style or the things that I like, um, the things that, you know, that I like. So, um, super excited about Lori's patterns. We did sell out overnight, but then we I mean, when we woke up, I mean, we, we print them here, so we have plenty, so don't worry. We're not going to sell out of the patterns. We might sell out of the floss, um, but uh, the pattern we print here. So as soon as like 6.30 this morning, me and Denise were like, oh, we got to get up. We got to get up. We got to get this back online. We meaning her, sorry, because <laughs> I have to take my kids to school. So I was like texting her, can you please put this back online? Um, so. And we got lots of questions. Okay, perfect. I'm go. happy to answer. Okay. Um, first one's from Rita Campbell. Do you think you would ever have a fancy floss club? Yes. So, um, I'm working on that and, um, I am trying to decide if I should do only classic color works or if I should do, um, switch between classic color works and, um, weeks every other month or do classic color works one month, weeks I works another month and gentle arts another month. Um, so just trying to decide between that. So if you guys want to um, give me feedback, I would appreciate it, but we should probably have that on in about two weeks. And Wendy Hansen says, did Denise use all six strands of Aura Floss? Yes, she did. Oh. So um, on this one, she used six strands. We worked on it together in uh, Nashville, and we had a race to see who could go first. We're not competitive or anything at all, neither one of us. Not at all. And then I use two strands of DMC. And they really look, I mean, if you put them, let me stand up and do this because I really do think color matters and, um, you know, like whichever one you like. So this one here, DMC, and this one here, R Floss. So you can just see, um, you know, do you want it big? Do you want it small? Do you want... Um, you know all kinds of options you know do you want it do you want glass do you not want glass um, we try to do everything several different and then also like Lori's that's on the 25 count Lagana looks really nice um, she's mailing it to us um, she was just adding the buttons and I'm gonna show you guys that next week it's not gonna be framed or anything yet I don't think but um really cute total different look total different look and and also like I'm giving you until June 12 to get your pattern your floss, I mean, you could totally change it. It could be a red sewing machine. It could be a blue sewing machine. It could be a black sewing machine. Like, you have so much freedom with these to really make it your own. Like, you don't have to buy exactly how it comes. But um, making these letters at the bottom that are like polka dot-ish are the, my favorite part. And the scissors. So, like, just like as a little, like, tidbit, like when I was making the scissors, I, I, as I stitch, I text Lori all the time. And um, she was like, I don't like the center. Let me see. She was like, I don't like the center of that. You gotta make it red. So um, that was kind of fun. Um, we've got a few people asking, what is the hashtag for the Quaker flag so along? Hashtag FQS Quaker flag. Hashtag FQS Quaker flag. Perfect. Um, and Marsha Roth was saying, how many strands of our floss do you recommend for 14 count Ada? Three. Right. And then on the harvest, the one in the uh -huh. dish, um, Carolyn Ponce was asking, where is the magnet placed? In the center. 
right at the top and this one came off in the shipping so that one goes there i mean it just goes and what about the other one the other one is in the very center right here it's in the very center because it's in the center so that it hits right on that thing and she's um, we're gonna have some videos coming up they're gonna all of Priscilla and Chelsea's videos will be up by May 31st on either our channel or her channel or their channel and we will be filming with them again in July and um, coming to Priscilla's house I already invited myself Denise invited herself too and we're coming she's gonna let us come Lily too I mean Lily's, Lily's got the camera but like <laughs> we're just waiting on Priscilla to tell us when oh I'm excited um question from youtube will the chalk charts be available outside the club yes of course everything and so everything will be you know you can get a pattern we're just trying to make it easy for you guys but yeah you can do the pattern yourself yeah we have everything individually so that you can make it your own because i really do think a lot of people are going to change um i mean just on anything but i mean especially on the i mean yeah yeah, patterns available. And so as second they come out, we have them on auto ship with Kathy from Hands on Design. The same day we get them, they'll be online. And uh, just a cute comment from Lori. She says, Kimberly, I love your bag and that you made it using Farm Girl Vintage Fabric. And then she put a little kissy face. Oh, I did. I didn't even show you. Oh, I feel so bad. So I, um, so the inside is her Farm Girl Vintage, like, seed print or something oh my gosh and I used the Sashiko machine or Sashiko machine and I got it to work finally like so when Lori's new book a uh, farm girl vintage 2 I quilted all of the little doll quilts and I could not get that machine to work I was like so frustrated and I at the very last quilt okay there's eight the very last quilt I figured it out so I'm so excited because doing those quilts really made me number one step outside the box which sometimes like if you research creativity sometimes if you rattle the cage you can become more creative. So I'm so excited that Lori pushed me to get those Sashiko things done, or Sashiko, whatever, because now I have a quilted bag. Mm. Yeah. Okay, um, from Andrea on Facebook, will the ten, when will the 10 count cloth be in? June or July. So I talked to Riley Blake at uh, Market. They're working on it. They are like on top of it. So, you know, the second it gets here, we bought all of it, the whole batch. So, sorry. Okay, Kyla Robinson says, Kimberly, can we see the inside of your needle book that you have from Lori? I'd love to be able to make one. Yes. I still have everything in here because I haven't switched it over because I only have one. Where did I put it? I only have one of these because this is the one from the printer. So I'm soon going to switch all of this into here today when I get my other one. Um, so this is Lori made this for me like two or three years ago. This is her Calico Days fabric, I think, and it's got like a little twill tape. And then you open it, and these, I don't know if these are felt or, I have it upside down, first of all. Um, so she's got like pins, and then in here she's got some hexagon for English paper piecing and little wonder clips, because you never know when you might need a clip. And then I put, on this side, I have Bowen, size 26. And on this side, I have John James Petite, 26. Um, I'm using the John James a little bit more, but you can see I have less and less because they do break. And um, I'm very tough on them, and the eye gets messed up. So I've got to get some more of those. And then here, she just did some buttons, and this is like a little pocket. And then this is just the back. So it's got four... I guess four. Um, super cute. Um, yeah, super cute. Okay. So yeah, I take it everywhere. Okay. Um, and Pepper actually asked a question that I had. Uh, she says, why use perforated paper and does it ever tear, tear while stitching? I am unfamiliar with it and I am curious. Okay, so perforated paper is a product. I'm gonna pull it out. It's a product by Mill Hill and they do a lot of cross stitch kits that have beads and I don't it's just a it's just a cross stitch product and I just kind of thought it would be cool to try and um, so it's not just paper you get at the store it's like perforated and you can like feel it on one side it's painted 
and one side it's not and it did not fray. I stitched on this um, at least two hours and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, um, but I just did it because um, I just wanted to try something different. But Mill Hill has lots of kits, lots of um, cross stitch patterns, beads, all kinds of stuff. And so it was just something I saw at market that I thought would be kind of cool to try. So I'm just trying it for the fun of it. Uh, Pat Rowe was also asking, uh, do you stitch the perforated paper flat as in no frame? Yes, 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 yes. And then Sharon on Facebook was asking, is the plastic hard to sew on the vinyl for the bag? Uh, oh. And do you use a special needle? No, and I mean, it is easy, and I use my regular needle, and I'm going to show you, and I totally made it up on my own. I made it up on the fly. I've never sewn with vinyl in my life. I totally got it down. We're going to do a video. It's going to be awesome. Great for beginners, because I'm a beginner bag maker. Lily, I'm telling you, I made this bag, so Lily would stop asking me to make bags. <laughs> you guys comment on our videos, I want bags, I want bags, and I'm like, Lily, I don't know how to make bags. <laughs> you got to get somebody else in here to film bags. So, um, But this is a bag for beginners, because I'm not doing anything. 3D or 2D because I don't know how to do it and I will never get on camera and say that I will never lie to you guys I will never get on camera and say this is easy when it's not that took me three hours and that means like the that that includes the quilting the back the binding and the hand binding I hand binded or I hand bound the edges I mean three hours total and that was like my kids were home my kids were in and out of the room I mean and I was taking notes on like, so when I do the video, I actually know what I'm doing. Um, so we're filming it next week. And then, I mean, obviously Lily needs time to edit it. So two weeks from now. Yes. But totally beginner friendly. Um, and I used, I did use the Buy Annie vinyl. I did research that. Um, and I, yeah, I'm going to show you the tips. You don't have to buy a special needle. You don't have to buy a special ruler. Nothing. I mean, special anything. Just, I didn't change anything on my machine. Uh, Sandy Taylor really, really wanted to know if there was a possibility of making the stitching with the housewife shirts for children. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Um, we have to buy those by the like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but I think we have a small, maybe you could like just dry it a lot. Um, so what we did for cash is we made a little sticker and we put a sticker on a little onesie. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think we could sell enough to make it. Um, Jody Smith says, is the stitching with the housewives bag canvas? Yes. Yes. So cute. So I can just like throw, yeah, it's got a zipper. Just throw all the stuff in. Like literally, y'all don't know, but like one day Lily's going to go to my car and just take a picture of the back of my car. Like I have a small <laughs> SUV and it's just like piled with crap. Because it's like bag this, bag that, bag. I mean, it's like I have a bag for everything. So maybe that's why I'm making all these bags. It's because I need more bags. And I need more bags to put more bags in. A bag within a bag. Within a bag. Within a bag. Uh, Carolyn Pond says, Star Spangled Swine. There are three items. Will the chart have all three? Yes. And we do have right now pin minis in stock by... Just another button company. One is the flag and one is like a sunflower. They match this and they're pins, like um, sewing pins for decor, you know. I don't know if I would really use them for sewing because they're a little bit thicker and they're expensive, so they're more for um, decoration. And then needle nannies are on the way also. Uh, Judith Lardier says, so the associated pattern have the DMC threads listed as well? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. DMC RF loss. It also tells you how many skeins of DMC or how many spools of RF loss. And the reason we know is because we stitched it. <laughs> uh, Judy Gibbon says, will you kit up the floss for the swine? Um, we're going to, on that one, we're just going to offer it as a kit. We're only going to offer the pattern and the kit, but every single skein will be available separately. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And if you don't want to hit take the time to like click each button, call customer service and um, they can just, you know, give them your information and they can sit and enter your order and call you back. Like if you don't want to take the time to type all that out. Uh, Patricia Lewis says, hi everyone, the pumpkin cross stitch, you can add all three together. So would I buy yes. eight o'clock by the yard or just an 18 by 25 piece? 
So what you would need to do is I would um, email me later and I can look that up. So we sold out of all but one. They're all back. They're all on order, but we need to look at the size. And so me and Denise could like write out the size of all three, do the math. I can't do that on camera. Um, and then we could tell you the correct answer. But we are happy to help you with that. Just email Kimberly at FatCoreShop.com. Um, I am filming today, so if it takes me a little bit of while to get back to you, that's why. Mm -hmm. You can also leave a comment in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, screen. yes. We can yeah. answer you there as well. Yeah, um, and that's so cute. I want to make it, so, yeah. JaxV82 says, is there a breakdown of which portions of the Quaker flag pattern will be done each week for the stitch along? Um, yeah, I'm going to make, um, no. So what I'm going to do probably, I'm just going to make it up right now. we got about three weeks left. Um, kind of in my head, what I was thinking was, obviously, next week I'm going to do the white. Sorry, the back doesn't match the front. So I'm going to do the white, white, and then we're going to fill in the blue. So that's next week. The week after, I will do the red, a red row, and the week after, the white row. And I, basically, the sew along, I'm going to come up with tips, because I had a lot of questions when we did the first Quaker pumpkin, because you move. And I'll show you how I make each star, if I travel, if I don't. So that's, there you go. White and blue next week, red the next week, white the next week. And it's kind of just like, you know, just make it up as we go. This one will be more planned. Um, Pat, Pat Schmidt was saying, for some reason I am no longer getting the email notices for your live videos. I was getting them before. The bell is clicked next to the subscribe button. Help. So I think. <clears throat> Lily, do you want to answer it so it's correct? But yeah. I think I know the answer. Yeah, um, most likely sometimes it can happen if you like, let's say you follow like 40 different channels and you have the bell clicked on all of them. Uh, YouTube doesn't like to send out like 40 different notifications to your phone every day because, um, you know, that's annoying. So uh, sometimes it kind of tries to select which ones it yeah. thinks you'll like. Um, another possibility is to just double check your spam folder because sometimes that um, in your mailbox that will start looking like advertising. So it'll think it's spam. Um, so those are my two suggestions for you. Um, also, I find that checking like the notification on my phone, like to receive notifications from YouTube, um, I won't get the notification in my email, but it'll push it through on my phone. So it's more accurate that way. And it happens to me too on other people's channels. Um, so I totally get it. Yeah. Um, Denise Schofield says, can you tell me what cloth size is for the samples shown? I think the samples you have on the table. So this one, we're doing a fat quarter. This is just a fat quarter. And this is just one package of cloth. So we always do it so that it fits the prepackaged stuff that we sell. So this fits the daisy that comes in the package from Lori. This fits the 14 count. This fits the witch owl. So. Okay. Um, Sandy Rex says, what is 25 count Lugana? 25 count Lugana is you stitch over two. So it's similar to linen and it's basically the equivalent of like 12 and a half Ada. So the holes are, um, it's easier to see. So it's great for beginners. And Lori wants to do something different at all times um, because that's just Lori. Um, she likes to do something different. The color's really nice. I saw it at her house when we did the book and it's, it's really cute. Um, she's just adding the buttons. But um, similar to 12 and a half count Ada, which obviously doesn't exist, but it's basically 12 and a half stitches per, or 25 stitches per inch, but if you go over two, it's 12 and a half. So you would, you know, it'd be good if you're like a beginner. Um, Lori could talk a little bit in the chat, but it's great for beginners. It's going over two. It's big enough so that um, if you're a beginner, you don't get as frustrated. Okay, Candy Crew says, will the buttons be in a one pack or is it two packs of buttons? Um, so it is this pack for the small. And then for the two red buttons, you would just get these from one of the jar of buttons, but the jar has a ton of buttons. So um, any of the jars would have buttons this big that are red. Um, but Riley Blake has discontinued those, so I didn't list them in the pattern, but um, yeah, just any of those jars. And if you just search button jar, you'll find it. Uh, Jerry Garvin says, will the 10 count white Ada be available before the stitch along starts? 
I don't know. It's possible. Yeah, that's why we kind of put it off a little bit so that hopefully it would come in. But I mean, it's coming in from overseas. There's lots of things that go into that. The customs and all kinds of things can delay it. So there's no way to give you a straight answer. But as soon as I know, I will tell you. Uh, around the same lines, Lori was asking, Kimberly, do we have a set date for when the So She Did Stitch Along starts? Yeah, June 12th. Perfect. And so, um, and we're going to put together an image that shows which, what we're doing each week and we moved it to June 12 so that hopefully the cloth would be in um, your cloth would be in and all of that and it gives people enough time to get the pattern all the things Donna Kirkland says the pattern you're stitching on Venetian Christmas signs what Ada fabric could you recommend that is a little lighter color so the color that I'm using is Venetian stone um, a lighter color might be Really, there's not a lighter gray in that tone. There's some tans, but I would say I don't think there's a similar gray that's lighter. Um, I mean, not that I know of. Uh, Angie Mishler says, what is special about the Sashiko machine or Sashiko? So what that machine does is on one side of the machine, I'll show it to you. It's a really expensive machine and it's really fussy. Um, so you gotta really, you, now that it works, totally fine. But um, one side gives a hand quilted look. So see how there's a gap in the stitching? And the back looks like a regular quilt. So it just gives it this unique look and I use 28 count Aurifil this time so that you could really see it just looks hand it looks hand quilted um, that's probably the hardest part of this whole bag was doing that because um, the bag was super easy uh, and Priscilla and Chelsea say we are so excited for Jolly July we think you should come when the house is decorated for Christmas oh yeah but you're coming in July too we're doing both no because if Priscilla comes to the house and decorates a tree, Kevin can't say anything. But if I'm in there and like decorating a blue and pink tree, he is going to have a fit because he's going to be like, this is not Christmas. Anyway, it's, it's like a known, like I would say that to him, like I'm not talking behind his back. Um, it's just a very serious thing. Like, I mean, I cannot even tell you how stressful Christmas is because Santa has to be a certain way. The stockings, the decoration, but you know the best thing about Kevin is he decorates all of it. He gets everything out and he's like ready to go. He does everything. Like I could just leave for the day and he would decorate everything because he loves it so much. But Lord help me if I move one thing, he is just going to be like, that's not where it goes. Um, he's just very into tradition, very into tradition. And pink and aqua is not his thing, but there is going to be a pink and aqua tree today, this year. He doesn't know. He's not going to know until it happens. And then he's just going to have to be like, okay. Um, okay. Deanna Payne says, Kimberly, did you use Soft and Stable for your project bag? I did. I did. I absolutely did. Confetti can for Soft and Stable. Yeah, and I used the 18 by 58 piece because I'm going to make several bags, but you would just need the 18 by 36 inch piece to make two bags. Um, and what I'm going to be doing this weekend is making the backing for the next bag, and then I'm just going to get on camera and I'm going to do it straight from, it is so easy, guys. Like, I can't even believe how, I was so proud of myself. I can't even tell you how proud of myself I was because I was like, I don't know if I can do it. I, like, I didn't want to promise something I couldn't do. And I mean, three hours, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like nothing. And then it's like, get in the car, got to go pick up Emma, you know, like, get in the car, go get dinner. But yeah, so awesome. Uh, Judy Gibbon says, did you get aqua linen? Mm, no, not yet. Maybe we will. We'll see. Uh, and Candy Kerr asked me to remind everyone to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, oh yeah, and subscribe yeah. because we're looking for new subscribers. We also have Instagram and Facebook. It's FQS Cross Stitch or FQS X Stitch. We have we're separating the social media channels for the two, you know, quilting. So the quilters who don't cross stitch don't have to look at cross stitch. Cross stitchers who don't like quilting don't have to look at the other side. But we would love if you liked both of our uh, YouTube channels because. We put a lot of time and love and hope to inspire you and tell funny jokes. I really think I'm funny, but um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and Case is Stephanie, just funny comment. She says, I'm watching from the gym, gym cardio with Kimberly. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to get my butt to the gym. I'm like, I think I'm going to do like an app to lose weight because I'm just like, I need to do stuff. Like, I need to get off my butt and do stuff, but I work all the time. So, I don't know. I need to get off my butt. Okay, um, Tony Reeves says, would you mind posting the cloth sites for putting the three pumpkin sets we need here, um, meaning on Facebook? Can we also share it to our Facebook? We sure, we answer? will work on that right after, um, and we will just go ahead and um, we can post like the picture of the pattern, just so you know, two of the patterns are sold out. She's already shipped them, so um, there might be a delay in that, but yes, we can. That'll be the first thing we do after this video is write it out and post it. Okay, and I'm just going to take two more comments here. Um, the first one from Sonia on Facebook. She says, can you give us some info on Lily? Lily, you want to get in front of the camera? <laughs> No, she can come. Oh. So Lily went to film school in Arizona. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. His yes. name is Cruz, right? Yeah, his name is Cruz. His name is Cruz. She has, frame. She has okay. two dogs. Her, her dogs are really bad. They're really bad. Really bad. They tear everything up. She has a cute little condo. Um, let's see what else we can say. She's funny. Um, what else am I saying? Um, I love Disney. Oh, yeah, she loves Disney. Her oh. and Priscilla and Chelsea are trying to, like, schedule some trip to Disney so they Did can go to Disney. Disney. And I'm like, I don't know. Y'all going to have to, like, come up with, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all going to have to, we're going to have to make a deal. I, I don't, I'm not a Disney. I love Disney. Yeah, she uh -oh. loves Disney. My kids, yeah. like, um, yeah. They uh, like, I don't know, what else do we have? She, oh, oh, she likes to wear really cute clothes. She's uh, very trendy. She makes a lot of her own clothes. Yeah, Anytime we I go to a restaurant, this. people are like, where'd you get your bag? Where did you get your shoes? Where did you get your, and I love it, because I'm like, ooh, they just talked to her. I don't have to talk to anybody. Um, but they always like her, like, either her shirt or her skirt. There's never anywhere we go where people aren't like, where did you get that? Something. So I'm like, she's like Miss Socialite. Everybody's ta <laughs> Everybody talks to her, though. Well, it's funny, because I consider true. myself antisocial. She is antisocial so. but like they're always talking to her so I'm like good y'all talk to her so I can be more antisocial and then she takes the that's funny yeah um, yeah if you're on our quilting channel we may in the future be doing kind of like a members only like AMA with me if you oh. are interested that um, would be awesome because yeah, then but I that's don't on the quilting do... channel yeah awesome yes you should do that <laughs> and I don't have to do anything okay um, last comment here and the, this was a request. Dana Quill says, please tell Kimberly, huge thank you for all the inspiration and carrying so many goodies for us to buy. Love it all. Anything we ask for, she really tries to provide. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, we try. We're trying to carry um, all the things and show you how to use them. So, And one thing that I really like about what we're doing with our channel is showing you how stuff really looks when it's finished. Because when you see a pattern, it doesn't always look that way and so that you can make a really educated purchase so that you don't buy something and you're like I hate that I don't I don't want to do that or do you know what I mean like so you can like really see um, what it looks like before you buy it um, so you can see it kind of in person so yeah guys we totally love your support all of us uh, we want y'all to have a good day be thankful be blessed, be everything, um, be positive, and I'll see you guys next week. Yes, uh, real quick. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry, Lori's asking me if I did my homework. Yes, Lori, I did my homework. It was very fun to watch. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are funny. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye.